I like Citrix, but I hope to make sure that I don't need it anymore in less than two years. And I was shocked. I saying, wow, you buy so many licenses and you want to get rid of Citrix? Yes, he told me. In two years, everything is web-based. And then I realized that the success of Citrix at that time, that the success of everything that is Windows-based is depending on Windows applications, right? And this is exactly what it is all about. And if you look at it right now, I mean, if this customer would contact me once more again right now, you can actually see that the world of applications is changing. A European polling among European customers has been made. And as you can see, the largest part of application given today is, of course, still Windows, but it is spreading. And as you can see, the world of mobility, of mobile devices, bringing us mobile operating systems, is also bringing us new types of services and new types of applications. And while Windows is currently still dominating, the share of web-based applications is getting bigger, bigger. And even the share of SaaS applications, like software as a service, where you say, no, I'm not installing my Microsoft Office physically on a terminal server, or I install it on my client. Maybe I take it as a service from the cloud. You can see the behavior of customers is actually changing. And why is it changing? Because there are more options. Something that might some of you are considering quite exotic is maybe this little share of 12% of mobile applications saying, yeah, I cannot ever imagine taking a mission critical application out of an Apple store or a Google store. Just wait another one or two years. I'm quite sure this will become a viable option. Think back into the year 2007 when the iPad was introduced, right? Nobody could ever imagine using an iPad. Right now, it became kind of corporate device. And this is actually something which is interesting to see. So again, and that's very important, the world of applications is actually shaping us. And as so many just joined after I started, I would like to repeat this for one more second. In this session about Citrix Enterprise Mobility, I would like to give you the reason why you need technologies like that. Because in the world of IT at Citrix, we believe that the only reason why IT exists is application. And I'm just talking about the fact that it's no longer Microsoft defining the meaning of a desktop. It's no longer Microsoft telling you, you have to use that operating system because you have to use our applications. The world of operating systems, especially with the introduction of mobile devices, is getting bigger. There is more choice. It's not just mobile Windows, it's Android and it's iOS. And therefore, also, the types of applications and services is growing bigger. So the difference between Citrix 20 years ago and today is, and that's actually the story which I mentioned, I wish everybody would have been on time, is Hold on one second. Could we stop this? Because it doesn't make any sense. Keep the door closed and the session is closed. Because this is really misleading to anyone. Okay. Because nobody can focus. Last one, please close the door now. I'm serious. Lo lock it. Good. This is really ridiculous then. So actually, and this is very important, the world is changing. That's why I'm saying, because it's really annoying when always people come in and cause some noise. So what does that mean for you? If we believe at Citrix that the only reason why IT exists, I'm starting all over again, that the only reason why IT exists is applications, and the fact that Citrix has technologies like Xen Mobile, we are definitely making sure that right now, and this is one of the key reasons considering Citrix, is that we are not telling you your world is only working if you have Windows applications. Citrix is telling you, regardless how your application strategy looks like today, tomorrow, or even in the future, if your strategy is to say, I don't want any more native Windows applications because I don't want to put it on a terminal server and I don't even want to have VDI, my world 
consists of web applications and maybe services as a SaaS application like salesforce.com or other things, then you can make that decision. Microsoft is no longer telling you your release cycles and what kind of application you are allowed to use and when these support cycles or life cycles are over. Citrix is making sure that you are in charge of the application type, regardless how it looks like, and you are in charge of the freedom of the <laughs> device that you're using, regardless what it, actually, what it actually is. So that means in a perfect Citrix world, all of the corporate resources, regardless if it's Windows apps, Windows desktops, if it's SaaS services or data, we are aggregating everything into a browser, if it's a desktop operating system of whatever brand, or if it's a mobile device, making sure that regardless where you go, you take the mix of services and applications to any possible device. Why do we do mobility then? So I first said it's about applications, right? But it's not just about application, it's also about people. Because we believe that the mobility solution and the fact that applications and data is following you wherever you go is not just about technology, it is changing the way how you work. I'll give you an example. Citrix in Germany was for more than 15 years in one office. Could you close the door in the back please as well? was for more than 15 years in an office outside Munich, right? And uh, lately we moved into the city center of Munich. So that means for some employees who just had a 10 minute walk to the office, it is now a completely different world. They now have to commute more than one and a half hour into Munich and at the end of the day out there. So what Citrix did with the technology is to say, hey, cool, eat your own dog food. We are just giving the flexibility of mobile work styles of Citrix back to employees. So our inside salespeople who usually have an office related job from nine to five can stay and work from their home office three days a week. They only have to be physically on site in the office two days a week. So what I'm saying with this is what we actually do is we are changing the way how people can work. We shape the way of working with resources. So this is not just about technology. This is not just about having fancy features or doing that because everybody's doing it. This is changing the way as it works. I'll give you another example right here from the Baltics. La Telecom in, uh, in Riga, they were looking for call center agents. They wanted to open a call center. And they said, look, we need up to 50, 60 people, but we have absolutely no space left in our building. I don't even know where to accommodate those, right? So the idea was, and that was already one and a half years ago, to do that with Citrix Technologies. And they were hiring people saying, look, please work from home. We provide you a device if you don't have one. If you have one, you can work from your own private PC. We provide you the applications and the resources to do your uh, call center job from your client as Citrix is also supporting voice over IP soft phones and making sure that you can even take calls from a virtualized cloud data center, we were making sure that these people were able to work from there. So that's cool. But it's even cooler if you think about how about changing word styles, if you consider who the people are who applied for that job. 80% women who take care of kids, who want to work but cannot work, actually to commute or leave the kid there. So again, what we do at Citrix is more than just the technology. It allows people to find different ways of working with applications and resources. So we believe mobile work styles is more than just that what our competition does when they say, yeah, it's mobile device management. Yeah, that's a technology. That's one of many things which are important about mobility. We believe in the end, Mobile work styles are more than just technology items. It is actually the way how we work, how we commute, and that you can actually use the freedom of using any kind of device and using any kind of application anywhere. The freedom of device and application types. That's what we are doing. And of course, Citrix Marketing says it's a complete solution. Mobile freedom without boundaries. But the question is, what is a complete solution? 
how do I encounter it's a complete solution? What makes a solution actually complete? Well, we at Citrix believe our solution is like a little Archinoa, right? We want to make sure that the user never has to think about, is it a Windows app, a Windows desktop? Is it a web application? Is it a SaaS service? Actually, we want the user just to know where can I get my apps and resources and how can I start it, period. And this is exactly what we do. Citrix Xen Mobile is a solution that takes care of device management. I control the device and set the, the definition on who is allowed to access, which means the user is forced to do a device registration. We actually aggregate any kind of applications from anywhere, including your terminal server apps, VDI apps and data. Make sure it's a federated single sign-on, making sure that the user only log on once, regardless how many further logons there are on an application basis. And last not least, and that's something that Citrix includes, our Xen Mobile solution is one part of software-based appliance and a physical appliance, which is Citrix NetScaler, an SSL VPN appliance that, first of all, does the secure tunnel, it aggregates the information to the client and it makes sure it is permanently secured. So we think differently when we talk about uh, when we talk about a complete mobility solution here. But that's not everything. The reason why Citrix is definitely the best solution in the enterprise mobility market is because we think further. Most of the vendors only think of device management. I told you, this is boring. This is something which is already 20 years old. You want to check and control <coughs> device. We go one step further and we call that MAM, Mobile Application Management. Now, what is this? I'm quite sure most of you have heard about the acronym BYOD, right? Bring your own device. And that sounds super cool, right? I take my private iPad, I go to the office, and I can work on my private device and work with it, right? Look, I'm from Germany, I'm German, and if I go to a German customer and say, hey, your employees can take their own devices and can work with corporate apps and data, you know what the first thing is they're gonna do? The legal counsel of the company says, you must be nuts. Nobody's working with a private device using our corporate data. We are not allowing it. And of course, there are regulations for it, right? Why is that? Because it's very tough when you have a private device, which is not owned by the company, to share data in a private and a business world. Because you cannot really physically differentiate between the personal world and the business world. And that's why Citrix introduces MAM, which is part of our mobility solution. So what is that? We're using a technology called Citrix MDX. And what we do is quite simple. We use the same model of application virtualization that you might know from Citrix, even VMware or Microsoft, when it comes to Windows apps. We are wrapping, we call it wrapping, we are isolating an application into a box, right? Operating systems are in virtual machines, Applications are in sandboxes, and as we do that with Windows apps as well, in this case, we can wrap mobile applications. Why would I do that? Why would I wrap my applications and deliver the container to the client device? It's very easy. If I wrap an application, it's isolated. That means it's not running on the operating system. It's a container which I can control. Means if this device is my own one, and Citrix gives me an application, they are able to control their app on my device. So they are in charge what I do with it. So what could be the reasons doing that? Let's assume this is your private iPad and you have your very first day with your new employer and they say, hey, you are in sales and you have to work with Salesforce because they are all the valuable sales information in it. But me as your boss, I'm telling you, as this is the most important information, really sensitive information, I don't want you to copy and paste all the information into Facebook or into something else. So what I'm gonna do is saying, no problem. I use the Citrix MDX technology and simply isolate even applications coming from the Apple or Google App Store and giving rules and policies to that container. So again, we are not just doing that with devices, we are doing that on an application basis, saying, if you want to use on your device my Salesforce, 
I'm not allowing you to use Facebook, or I even could say, I'm not allowing you to have it installed on it. Making sure that we or you set the definition on under which circumstances corporate applications can be used on foreign devices. And I can even go further and say, look, when you want to use my corporate apps, I'm not allowing you to use the iCloud backup because all the data that you sync for offline usage to the application on the device, I don't want you to store and secure everything into a backup iCloud, right? <laughs> I'm only allowing you to work anyway if it's a trusted device. Printing, copy and paste is not allowed. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing this to make sure that even if the device is not managed by the company, I'm able to give corporate resources onto a foreign device with the same flexibility, with the same capability, but I'm under the control of the company. So this is something we can do with any application available in the Windows, Android and Apple Store. But this is not everything, right? We even go further here. And the cool thing about application wrapping at Citrix is, it's not just a container, it includes a micro VPN, which actually means when you open the container, when you open the application, the user doesn't realize by opening the app that an automatic tunnel will be established through the Citrix NetScaler into my Citrix mobility solution and therefore in the backend. So that means you no longer have to say, okay, that's my device, I have to start my VPN client, I have to build a tunnel, and when the tunnel is established, then I can access data. No, you just hit the button, open the app, and secure communication is immediately established. So far, so good. But what are the key corporate apps that most of the people are using on an iPad or something like that? I mean, apps like that is nice, some people are using it, of course, but what is the number one thing? Emails, right? Emails, secure websites, maybe from your internal IBM WebSphere server or SAP portal or something like that. And therefore, and this is really cool, Citrix is introducing its own applications. Citrix introduces its own mail client, its own browser. Is that because we want to be in competition with Outlook or Microsoft Exchange or something like that? No. What we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to say, if this is a private phone, I don't want the user to have the connection information of my Exchange server on this device. I don't know how secure that is. Maybe somebody is fetching the information of my mail server and all the configurations. I don't want that. So the idea from Citrix is to say, hey, cool, do your private emails with the native mail clients of my iOS. But if you want to work with corporate emails, then you have to use the wrapped, isolated container that Citrix is giving to you. The look and feel is exactly the same like with the one from Android or the one from Apple iOS. So we make sure that you have a connection to your Exchange server or Lotus Domino server to make sure that emails, contacts and calendars are full in sync and that everything is under one roof. And Citrix has a secure browser, mail client, a data file client, which I'm explaining in a second, making sure that the mobile world at Citrix is not just device management. You can say, I have my private and my business world completely physically separated on a device, which is not mine, which belongs to the user or to the employee. And I would like to highlight especially two ones. The great thing actually with a web browser is super cool. Just imagine you are at the airport and um, you say, oh, before I go into that flight, um, I need to go to our internal Microsoft SharePoint server or a WebSphere server to download a document. Usually it is impossible in a quick time to do it from this because you have to build the tunnel and then somehow access. If you open the browser from Citrix, which we call Works Web, you can go on external sites and internal sites, right? So it's like a browser that automatically looks into your internal environment because it has the SSL VPN client and you can browse in both worlds, internal and external. The user doesn't even need to know that it's a very convenient thing, works in both ways. And that also means everything. Email attachments can be detached separately and internally. So we can absolutely make sure that the traffic 
can completely be separated from anything that is happening on the local client. All application or data attachments and detachments are happening in the Citrix corporate mobility world. The private world is completely separated from that. Same thing with Works Web. It's exactly the same look and feel. You don't even see a Citrix logo in it because we wanted to make sure that the user doesn't even see a difference if he's using our browser and no longer the Chrome on Android or the Safari on iOS. The only difference is he can browse all worlds and you can control which worlds he is actually using. And this is actually a little scheme how it works. When the user hits the application, our application, and that's the same thing like with all other web apps, the container is isolated, the connection is made between the isolated container through the integrated micro VPN, the tunnel is opened, and I can securely connect from any mobile device. And the great thing is, I don't need an SSL VPN solution for my mobile devices. Citrix delivers the mail app and wraps any other app and automatically adds the SSL capability into it. And the great thing is, all these control applications, all these control capabilities are also available there. Maybe you think right now, nah, okay, so he, this guy from Citrix is telling me that any application in the app stores of Apple and Google can be wrapped. I'm not sure. Well, we are. If you go to the Citrix app community gallery, it's a website where you cannot download apps, but most of the vendors like Adobe, or salesforce.com, they certify their mobile applications already as Citrix wrappable. So the industry of mobile applications is already supporting in a wide range, it's more than 100 business applications, is already doing that on a wide scale. All right, so far so good. I said in the beginning it is about applications. We believe that data is the fuel of applications. It's not just enough to work with a Windows app or a Windows desktop. If you have no access to your files, it's worth nothing. That's why we believe that file sharing services is great. And many customers believe that too, especially if you go in to do that to all of the clients. But the problem simply was the contestant that we had before, right? This is something nobody wants. Why? Because it's unsecure. Why is it unsecure? Because companies cannot control what their employees are sharing. So that means information, valuable information can leave your data center even without any information or notice to you. Citrix is changing that. With our product, which is called Citrix Share File, which is nothing you have to purchase separately, it's included in our mobility solution, it's actually something where we make sure that regardless where you go, we have a controlled, centralized store that makes sure that besides mobile apps, and this is the new Citrix today, Citrix is able to deliver you any kind of application, including data, to any possible device. That's the difference between Citrix today and 10 years ago, when we only had Windows apps and Windows desktops based on that product at that time, Metaframe, XenApp, or Presentation Server. The new world of Citrix is delivering any application that you want. But if we talk about files, why is Citrix more secure than Dropbox or many other ones? Two reasons. First of all, the traffic upwards, backwards is fully encrypted. That's one thing. Secondly, we have an Active Directory integration, which means you can control the file shares from which users are sending or receiving any data. Thirdly, the centralized repository doesn't have to be in the cloud outside, outside Estonia, for instance. It could be in your own data center. So customers with ShareFile have the opportunity to have their own local storage in their own data center and not on a public cloud in the United States or elsewhere. So that means you keep the centralized file share where you are. And the great thing is it provides a lot of flexibility. So if you have, let's say, your normal Windows desktop where you're working with, ShareFile is installed actually in the SysTray, always available there, and you see your local file shares, which you created on your own. You can use the Citrix client, the ShareFile client, the ShareFile widget, to actually work with it from any possible desktop. If you don't like that because you're using not Windows, you could also even use the web-based platform. So it's actually not a big thing. 
Citrix provides you for any type of client operating system the right interface to interact. And it doesn't matter if it's Windows, Linux or Macintosh, even if it's an Android based thing, you have your own file shares, even the corporate ones, always available where you go. We call this follow me data. And the great thing is, consider the share file client as your virtual Windows Explorer. It's not just that we give you the applications wherever you go, we give you your virtual explorer where you handle files, where you open files, copy files, send files. We give it to you to any possible device, regardless where you go, regardless what device it is, even if it's an iPhone, as I said, Android or Windows phone, we make it available anywhere. But what happens if you have a larger environment? Let's say the world headquarter of your company is here in Tallinn, but you have maybe affiliates in the United States or in Russia or somewhere else. What happens if people are working there and want to sync their files? Do they always have to sync between the data repository here in Tallinn? No. What we have as an option is something we call Citrix share file with storage zones, which means you can create as many storage repositories wherever you are, making sure that people who are not sitting or are located in the main office can sync the shortest way at the office where they are employed. So making sure that you don't sync the files half around the world. All right, but data is always a difficult thing, right? Because mostly it's sensitive information. And if you let somebody download something from your file servers, you can have super protection, you can have firewalls, you can have encryption. If somebody is allowed to download something, then the stuff is gone, right? If it's downloaded, you have no further control. Except you're using Citrix. Why? In a Citrix world, people are not just downloading files from your file servers while they're traveling. Imagine once again, you're about to board the plane. You said, okay, while I'm on my flight to the United States, I'm going through this 200 pages PDF file and I need to download it. In a Citrix world, you're not just downloading it somewhere, you are downloading it from your share file, right? You're downloading it actually from your SharePoint server or your file server into the share file client on any of your mobile devices. And it looks like that. You're going to the folders, you get a preview, and if you say download, guess where you downloaded it? Where will it be downloaded? It will be downloaded into the share file application, right? And the share file application is like our browser and like our mail client, an isolated container. And the great thing about it is you control the container. And that means if this user is leaving your company the next day, you can use something which we call a selective wipe, which means you can remotely take away the applications, your corporate apps, and all the data, all the mail, all the contacts, everything that person ever used for business purpose and can remotely wipe it away from a device which belongs to the user. So that means in a Citrix world, you have maximum flexibility for the user, online, offline usage of data and files and applications, and at the same time, maximum security for your corporation. You control the virtual app on the device and you control everything that is happening with it. So that actually means the use case for it, incredibly big. I just have three scenarios, which is something you should definitely consider. I've been an IT admin myself before I joined Citrix, right? And I remember when somebody new was starting, they said, hey Fabian, there's a new guy starting. So then I had to image the notebook, right? Had to create all the accounts in each of the respective application. So if three, four people started the next month, it really took me a lot of time to prepare everything to give the user the new notebook and say, you can work. In a Citrix world, this is different. Why? Because the device doesn't matter, right? The device could be a corporate one, but the device could also be one that the user brings, right? Bring your own device. And today in a Citrix world, if I have new hires, the only thing I'm gonna do is I add the user to the Active Directory because I have predefined roles. It could be sales, marketing, systems engineering, research and development, whatever. 
and which basically means if I add a user to one of these roles, he automatically gets all of the applications assigned that he wants to work with or he has to work with. Remember, the only reason why IT exists are applications. And it simply doesn't matter if these apps are Windows based or if they are web based or have any other purpose, I simply give access to that. And the great thing is when I simply add that, I automatically give him access from anywhere because it doesn't matter anymore from where the user is working with these applications. So that means the user logs in at his own app store, at your own corporate app store, where all the applications are available that you want to provide. And that means with one click, with one add of the user to the corporate Active Directory, you give him all the resources, all the applications, all the data, regardless if he is on a desktop in the office, on an iPhone, on an iPad while he's traveling, it simply doesn't matter because the client device doesn't matter and you have everything under control with Citrix Enterprise Mobility. So in this case, we make sure that everything is following the user and that you have everything under control because of the MDX technologies wrapping your assets, files, data and apps on a device which might belong to you or a device which might belong to your user, to your employee. So that means total freedom of devices and total freedom of applications that we are providing in this case. And we can even go further and saying, look user, and this is where we talk about device management. And as I said already, device management is only a small part of the entire solution. Remember, MDM is what most of the others do. What most of the other do. That's boring. That's only half of the story. We believe controlling the device the application and the data is true enterprise mobility and only Citrix can provide all of this with one product regardless of the device. And the important thing is if a user is using all of this in the office, maybe I allow him to do everything. If the same user is traveling, maybe I say the file share where all the sensitive information of my company are stored, I don't want this to be accessed. Another scenario is maybe interesting to you. At Citrix, I have many colleagues, but I also have lots of people working for Citrix, but not employed at Citrix. They are contractors. Maybe people who are working for you, but are not employed there. Maybe from a security perspective, you want to treat them differently. With a Citrix Enterprise Mobility Solution, you can do so easily. You can perfectly give access and control what users do, how they do it, from where they do it, and when they do it. And if a user is actually leaving your company, it's also quite interesting thing. I'm, I love this story. Um, after I joined Citrix, after almost a year, when I got bored for a moment, I thought maybe I should check out if the admin passwords from my previous employer are still working. What do you think? Of course they did. And not only one, right? All the others too. Seriously, that's a security threat. In a Citrix world, that simply doesn't exist. Why? Because as easy as I add a user, I simply can disable a user who, let's say, will be fired or is leaving. You can immediately deactivate the account, which automatically means no access to anything, right? With one disablement, you will simply disable him from anything he does. And that automatically also means no file access, no application access to any resource. And the great thing is, if he's using a license from you, let's say from Salesforce or anything else, we make sure that the third party licenses, which are no longer used by that individual, goes back to the pool. So you're not even wasting any licenses. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, sounds nice, right? Citrix takes care of all of my application types. It takes care of my data. Citrix has an own mail client. Citrix has an own browser right now. Jesus Christ, what happens if a user now comes? How do I get all these mobile applications that Citrix can wrap in our own works app family? How do I get that on a mobile device? Does that mean I have to send an admin to each of the users to install the mobile applications that are considering your, your corporate applications? No. The entire stack of things 
can happen by self-service. The cool thing is the user can do a self-service provisioning to configure and download all of these components that fit together in an enterprise world. So you don't need an admin. The user can do that when he's joining you on the very first day by itself. And I would like to show you that in a very, very short movie to see how easy you can do that on any type of device, how easy you can revoke actually access. And uh, let's see actually how that works. So with all these mobile devices in the world, if you want to put enterprise applications on them, all you have to do is secure the device. And to do that, you use Zen Mobile MDM. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. We're going to start right here on the iPad Mini. On the iPad Mini, when I switch over to this side, you can see all of these personal applications. I go back over here, I've got the icons set up to start the enrollment for Zen Mobile MDM. I click on Enroll, and I come into here, and I click the Enroll button. Now I put in my email address. And when I put my email address in and submit this, it's going to go straight into the cloud. And the cloud figures out where my server is and brings that information back, my MDM server. So there it is. Now all I have to do is apply my password, and that's it. I'm all authenticated in, and it brings me to the three-step process to get enrolled and secured. The first step here, install the company profile. Now this installs the certificate of the company on this device. You can see it's right here. I click install, install now, and done. That's pretty quick. Now the second step is really about the device profile. And that is the profile that goes on this device that is associated with all the policies and the rules to make it secure. So we click, we install, we finish that, and we're done. Number three, complete enrollment is finished. Now when it is done and totally enrolled and secured, all of those secure policies come directly down to this machine and you can see right here, it's also pushing applications to me. So the first thing, install receiver. Of course I want receiver, so I click install. And then I even have other applications here and I just keep it in clicking install. These are all pushed down to me as part of the policies. Now some of these have come from the MDM server and that's great. These others come directly out of the Apple Store. So they come straight to me on this machine and I even have to put in my own password to that account. So I'm going to do that now, provide that password, and when I do that, those apps will be installed also, all part of the policy. So click, 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 install, 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 and now all these applications are down. So this device is now completely secure and ready to use with enterprise applications. Flip it over. These are personal applications here, and these are all secure business applications and data here. Now, if I wanted to repurpose this device and not use it anymore for work, but just use it for personal use, I need to get all of the certificates and the secure apps and data off here. Best way, call the IT department the and have them go on to the MDM administration user interface that you see right here. They will see my device in the list, and when they right-click on it, they can do something that's called a selective wipe. And when you do a selective wipe, click yes, it's going to go to the device, send it a notification, and start to remove all the applications and all the secure data. And it removes the certificates and the profiles and everything, and so it's right back to where you began. Just your personal information, and it can be used just for that. So another device I have is the Samsung S3, and it's Android based. Now this device is already enrolled, so it's got MDM on here, and it's got receiver, and network mail, and network web, and I can use this for personal and business use. Now if I ever misplaced this or lost it, I can call the IT department and say, put a lock on this phone, right? I don't want anyone accessing this when I don't have control over it. So you can right click on that device, go in and issue a lock command. And you can also give it a very specific code. So if someone even knows the code to the machine, you can give it a new one. So we'll give it a new one here, one, two, three, four. Click and it issues that command instantly so you can see it locks. And if I try to open up the machine, it's going to ask for a pin code, one, two, three, four. I can put that in, and only the IT service person and myself know that code. And so I've got access to it again, and I'm back in and under control. Well, you know what I want to do? I want to move away from the Android and over to the Windows Phone 8 now. Now, to do that, I'm going to repurpose the Samsung and put it back in the demo center, in the conference center, okay? So now I need to clean the business and the personal applications off here. Best way to do that, again, contact IT and have them do a full wipe. So let's see what that looks like. 
I come over here and I right click on that particular device and I hit security and I come over and I hit a full wipe. Click, yes, and it fires that command directly and instantly into the Samsung. And you can see what it's doing. It's doing full factory reset. So it's brand new just like it came out of the box. So what you can see here is you can take any device, whether it's BYO or a business device, and you can secure the platform so that you can take enterprise applications, even when there's personal applications on there as well, and use it in companies worldwide. So, just an impression how Citrix can work and what it can do for your environment. It simply means no more sacrifice between flexibility for your users and security for your corporate applications, data, and files. And you know what? This is something you can introduce at any time. Citrix gives you the freedom to have the application you want, the application type you want, regardless if it's Windows, web-based, SaaS-based, whatever type of file it is, if it's file servers or Microsoft SharePoint servers, you actually make the decision how you do it. And in a perfect Citrix world, actually, you have everything you want under one roof. All the information like my Citrix terminal servers, my Citrix VDI technologies, my web-based and SaaS-based resources, everything comes down and is aggregated in this front end which you've seen, which is Citrix storefront. It's all secured by the Citrix Netscale appliance which is automatically a load balancer. It is a uh, web application firewall and an SSL VPN making a secured connection to the Works app, the Wrap apps. So we have a completely secured solution with an application based micro VPN which establishes the tunnel and is independent from the device itself. So in a complete world, in a complete solution, actually you can get um, a, a technology that helps you to deliver all the resources in a very controlled manner and fashion to any device. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested to see more, you have a lucky day today. It's not just Atea as being one of the most capable Citrix partner for a long time here in Estonia. Um, Atea is also having experience and already certified people which know how to deal with the Netscaler and Xen mobile technologies. But if you want to see that live, everything which I did in the presentation, I suggest that I invite you to the Citrix booth here at the Aero booth right now around the elevators. Uh, the colleagues from Aero, Guntis, Jurgis, Victoria and me are more than happy to tell you more how our solution might fit into your environment, how you can start, what type of applications you have and we give you way more insight and detail because we can demonstrate everything you've seen here absolutely live even in this network here of the Swiss Hotel. So thank you very, very much for taking the time joining us here today. I can see in the audience I never had so many people ever for a Citrix topic in a session here at, at the Atea Action. So thank you very much and hopefully meet most of you at the Citrix Aero booth right down the hall. Thank you very much.